So I actually saw this on YouTube. Shout out to the person who inspired me to make this. Um, the edit was really good. First, do new and then solid. And then we're gonna make it white. Well, it really doesn't matter what color it is. So we're just gonna press okay. Let's make a new solid again. And then this time we're gonna do like a different color. It really doesn't matter, but we don't want it to be the same because then it'll blend it. So we're gonna press okay. And then we're gonna go to our ellipse tool. And then we're simply going to do a shape like this and hold shift to make it a perfect circle. After that, you can center it in the anchor point. All you have to do is right click it and then transform and then center anchor point and layer content. And that centers the anchor point in the layer. After that, we're gonna add four color gradient. Now, if you really wanted to, you could get like the gradients from Pinterest. Yeah, but anyways, we're gonna add four color gradient on there. And then we're gonna change these colors because they're kind of ugly. They're not that ugly, but they're just, yeah. But we're gonna do like light blues and pinks. And we're just gonna do this. And then what we're gonna do is change the position on some of these. So you see these dots right here? We can actually move them. So yeah, very cool. And then right here, we can move this pink one. And then of course we can change the blend, but I kind of like it like this. Once you've done that, what we're gonna do is just pre-compose it, pressing shift command C or shift control C. And then you're gonna move all attributes into new composition. And then I'm just gonna color code these so we don't get mixed up. But after that, we'll make a new camera. So we're gonna press layer, new camera. And then these settings should be good. Make sure enable depth of field is enabled. And then you're gonna press okay, okay. And then after that, you're gonna make this 3D and this 3D. So everything should be 3D except for your reference. And I'm actually gonna rename this to reference so you guys don't like get mixed up. Now, you're gonna click on the solid and press R and then you're gonna rotate however you want. I'm actually gonna move this back some, so press position on the background layer, and then you wanna position this back here so then it has depth. And then scale this up. We're gonna change the X rotation, and then we're gonna scale this down, and then we're gonna bring this forward some and then scale it down and then bring this forward some. And we're using position to bring it forward. And then we're gonna move it over here, move it down here. And then I think that should be a good spot. And then after that, what we're gonna do is duplicate this. But first, we're gonna make a new null layer. Press layer, new, null object. Then we're gonna put this on top. And then you're gonna make this 3D as well. And then you're gonna connect your solid and then your background to the null like this. And then once you move the null positioning, it should do something like this. Period. We're gonna duplicate it once and then you're gonna press P on the duplicated layer to bring up position. And then you're gonna just move this down just a little bit. Yeah, so it should be something like that. And then you're gonna duplicate this one again and then just position this one down just like that. And then we're gonna duplicate it one more time and then we're gonna move the position down a little bit. And then you should get something like that. I'm gonna make another solid layer, new solid. The color doesn't matter. Add four color gradient, of course. What I wanna do is add turbulence, displace. It like jumbles up the colors more and change the amount, it does this, but you have to like change the size and stuff because yeah. But now that like I look at this, it's kind of ugly. I'm gonna change some of the colors because yeah. Okay, I kind of like this. And then after that, you're gonna make this 3D and then you're gonna scale it down pressing S on your keyboard and then you're gonna rotate it just like so. Now, press P and then you're gonna position this on this side and then you may have to rotate it just a little bit more. But then what we wanna do is stretch this out. So you're gonna like stretch it like that. I'm gonna try a different color for this one. I'm gonna try like a reddish color. Hold on. Okay, that's cool. And then you're gonna press okay. And then guys, we can actually start animating the no layer if we want. So I just drag this up on here. And then what we're gonna do is press P, which is already there. Go to the beginning of our timeline. And then you're just gonna like zoom this in some, but you have to connect the white solid to the no layer. So don't forget to connect all the shape layers that you make. And then if we do that, you can see it. So we're gonna just position this forward and then we're gonna click the stopwatch and then we're gonna go back a few frames and then we're just gonna have it go backwards like that. And then if we move this out and play this back, it should be like moving just like that. But it's kind of slow. Like if you look at the reference, it's a lot faster, but we can kind of get the idea. Now I'm gonna add a new solid well, shape layer, new shape layer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to star tool. And then I'm gonna remove the fill, press okay. And then I'm gonna change the stroke color to like a grayish black. And then I'm simply gonna do this. Hold down on command or control if you wanna change the shape because I kinda like the like more pointier things. 
and then I'm gonna position this downwards just a little bit using P and then I'm gonna increase the stroke just a little bit. Make sure it's not too thick, but not too thin. But then we're gonna go under the content. So just click this arrow twice if you have to, and then press content, polystar, the path, and then you're gonna increase the amount of points. And then you can like change this or whatever, but yeah. I kinda like it like that, but yeah. Ooh, I like both. Should I do this one or this one? Ooh, we're gonna go like midway. <laughs> but we're gonna scale this down, and then after that, we're gonna make it 3D, and then we're going to like rotate this kind of, and then we can like position this backwards. So press P and position this back. I'm just gonna put this right here for now, but I do want it to rotate. So I'm going to first connect it to the no layer, and then I'm gonna press R, and then I'm gonna change the Z position to make it rotate. But I have to change the anchor point first. So center it in the composition, and then you can rotate it. And then once you play it back, it should rotate. I'm also gonna increase the stroke just a little bit more. All right, I think that should be it. And then of course, put this layer underneath the solid over here if you need to. If you need to increase the background a little bit more, you can still scale this up using S. And then after that, I'm gonna add another shape layer. There's gonna be a lot of shape layers in this video. I'm gonna make another solid layer, put this up over here. I'm gonna do another gradient so search up gradient and then of course change the colors as much as you need to i'm gonna do like these type of colors that'll be cool all right that should be good and then of course you can change the blend if you need to but i'm gonna make this 3d and then i'm gonna scale this down and then what i'm going to do is rotate it but this time it's gonna be this way so make this 90 degrees press p and then position it up here and then of course you can drag this and scale it like that but if you like can't drag it just press s and then click this little chain and then you can also scale it like that i'm gonna have it start right there so i'm gonna link it to the no layer and then it should be a part of my stuff now i kind of want to do like an effect with it so what i'm going to do is make a new shape layer new and then i'm going to do shape layer i'm going to do the ellipse tool we're just going to do a circle like right here hold shift and then i'm going to add turbulent displace so then it gives it that like warpy look you can increase this if you want but i kind of like it like that and then i'm going to make a keyframe for evolution go for it a few frames and then i'm going to like move that around press u to bring up all your keyframes and then i'm going to move this like right over here and then it should do something like that but now after that i'm going to press add click repeater and then after that we're going to go into repeater and we can increase the copies and then remove the offset like if you want to i kind of like to increase the copies oh that kind of looks cool okay that's kind of tough okay after that i'm just going to position this like over here i guess oh my gosh that's so cool and then i'm going to make this 3d and then i'm going to connect this to the null but we're just going to do layer new solid and then we're going to press ok and then we're just going to do a circular ellipse tool thing hold shift to make it a perfect circle now i'm just going to add gradient again and then we're going to change most of these to white in a second but then we're going to make this one gray so a little bit darker color and then we're going to find where that point is which is right here um this usually works better when all the whites are closer together like this hold on hold on also I have to change the button again there you go and then this should be right here and then it looks like a little sphere and then just change the blend however you need okay i kind of like that that one looks a little bit marbleish. i like that one and then of course make this 3d move this like right here and then i kind of want them to move up and down so i'm gonna press p click the stopwatch go forward a few frames move it up and then copy the first keyframe paste it copy the second keyframe paste it Control v and then keep doing that until we get to the end of our clip perfect and then it should move up and down like that but we're just gonna space these out i don't want it to be too fast yes sir yes sir anyways we're just gonna highlight over these and easy ease one of them and then keyframe assistant easy ease and then it should move i'm gonna scale this down just a little bit connect it to the no layer and then i'm going to duplicate it pressing Control or command d but then you also have to redo all these keyframes. Not gonna lie, I'm just gonna redo all them. But I'm gonna move this one over here and you may have to position it forward again. And then I'm gonna scale it down. And then I can just do whatever I want with the positioning. Perfect, perfect. 
and then of course you can duplicate it again and then like i don't know move it over here you have to redo the keyframes like i said before but just click the stopwatch and then redo the keyframe and then i can do the same like little animation and then of course space these out I also need to move this over a little bit because it's like clipping in the other thing. LOL. Okay, I'm going to add one more thing and then I think I'm going to be done. I'm just going to do a basic new solid layer and then I'm just going to do a basic rectangle, a rectangle like this. You can also do a gradient ramp. I think this is fine. And then I'm going to connect it, but first make it 3D and then connect it to the null layer, which is right here. Position this however you need to and then put this down here and then you're all done with this 3D scene thing. After you're done with the movement, just pre-compose all of these and then you can either click the first one, hold shift and then click the bottom one and then shift control C or you can just like drag over all of them. Okay, I can't really do it, but if you move this up and then drag over all of them, you can then pre-compose them. Press okay. And then after that, what I like to do is I like to add grain to it. So I'm gonna search up grain. I've never used this kind of grain, Loki. not gonna lie, but okay, this one's not too bad. But yeah, just change this to final output and then you get something like this, but you may have to decrease it just a little bit. I'm gonna use S underscore grain because that's what I'm most familiar with. No, it's BCC film grain, my bad. And then I'm just gonna increase this. And then what I like to do is add looks press edit and then I'm going to add some halation just like this but make it orange because yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this week's video stay safe I love you and I'll see you in the next video bye also project file linked in the description below because I love you okay bye